These are the offensive comments that caused two major supermarket chains to remove Ramsaran's dairy products from its shelves. A relative and employee of the company was widely criticized after referring to PNM supporters as cockroaches and loafers. In a statement, Massey Stores said it has listened to its customers and has taken a decision to remove Ramsaran products from its supermarket shelves and temporarily suspend ordering of the product. And even though the author of the post issued an apology to customers and her family, stating they were made out of anger, it did not stop the fallout as the supermarket association also asked its members to boycott the company until it makes the correct remedial action. An online petition has also received more than 10,000 signatures calling for a boycott. The Ramsaran family member's comment was one of several racist posts that flooded social media following the 2020 general elections. Bishop Anesty High School East and Trinity College East have had to distance themselves from racist comments made by a teacher, while the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force has since pulled itself away from racist comments made by a member, describing it as unfortunate and insensitive. According to sociologist Dr. Roy McCree, what has emerged on social media is linked to a struggle for power. So you have groups in a society who think they have more wealth than you, who think they are more businesses than you, basically more economic capital than you, more social capital than you, educational um, credentials, but yet they don't have that political capital. Dr. McCree says, one must look at how these parties were historically formed. Its main base, main base of the PNM is in the black dominated constituencies. Okay, the, the, the evidence that we have has uh, confirmed that. Similarly, um, with the UNC, of course, they would be concerned about the entire society, but the reality is that their, their support base lies in one or the other. The sociologist says while social media may have highlighted the racial divide, it's something that has been happening for decades and he believes will continue. How we vote is not how we party. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.